Hey, welcome back to another video hosted by Spellstorm Miniatures. My name is Dan. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Scale 75 Instant Colors. Now, I unboxed this in another video. I'll try to put a link up in here for you so you can check out that and everything that's inside the box for that Kickstarter. Now, I brought a wide range and I was really curious on how to really use it. I didn't really want to incorporate into previous paint schemes that I already had going on. And I recently picked up the other side, King's Army. Now this is a little bit of a skirmish game. Sounds kind of fun, I actually haven't played yet, but now I have a fully painted army thanks to these paints. This will be about my 15 hour army, which is pretty neat to have. Now granted, I'm gonna do some caveats here real quick. My time that I worked off of was the brush in hand type of time. Not really the drying in between layers, that would add a lot, but since I was able to batch a lot of it out. What I'm gonna show you here in a minute is the brush on primer that was included on two of the models and then kind of a speed paint timed on eight units. So you can see how fast and easy I'm able to get that done. I want to include the colors as well. It's going to take about 13 minutes. It's sped up quite a bit. So if you want, I'm going to try to timestamp down below. You can just go ahead and skip ahead if you're not really interested in watching that part, but you just want to see what it ended up looking like. All right, let's dive into that primer. This is showing one coat of the Holy Charm brush on primer. I applied it roughly how I would do just a regular base coat. And this was kind of the result. This is after about an hour of drying. And you can see the high spots are still showing quite a bit. So I'm going to do a second layer and see how that works. And after about another hour, hour and a half, we have the second coat on there. Did roughly the same application as the first. See the coverage is much better. And I'm actually going to go for a third on this model and two coats on the other model I have to compare them. I decided to time myself and show you how long this took. I sped it up so it's about the next 13 minutes. We'll show the base coating, all the painting. If you notice the timer was already started, I had gotten two figures and about half of the other one done. By the time I realized when I hit the record button, it didn't quite take, it just zoomed in and focused. So that's why there's a that little bit of that delay. Then comparing the two figures, I ended up doing the two coats on one, three coats on the other. So check out the end of the video to see how that ended up turning out.
Not the best paint job on them, but considering the amount of time, here is those two units side by side of the two and three base coat layers. Can you really tell the difference? Yeah, I can't really that much either. However, I was probably a little heavier with the paints on the one on the right. You can see a lot more deeper shadows, but that was actually the two coats versus the three coats on the left. So all in all, I think they turned out pretty good and two coats will probably do it in most all applications. Here are the Royal Rifle Corps. Again, I think these turned out a little bit better than the sharpshooters. And I experimented a bit more with the Scale 75's version of doing the metal. And I think it turned out pretty well. The stocks even turned out good. I tried using a variety of browns to A, get a sense of what they look like, and to give a little bit more contrast in between the models and the different parts of them. I ended up not doing the faces because they're really hard to see anyway from the table and it would have just been sloshing that kind of ink around anyway. Overall I'm pretty happy how they ended up turning out especially given the speed and they do look better from the table distance. Then the infiltrators, I really went a lot of brown on these ones. I used two different colors on the pants just to really give a different look to them, maybe a bit more textured and worn. It was really another experiment to see how this paint kind of worked and performed under that. Again, I ended up skipping a lot of the face on these. I put a little bit on there. I might want to put more detail, but the overall flesh wash is just not quite as good to me as just painting it regularly. And you can see spots where the primer just wasn't quite good enough and the paints did not really stick to it very well. Then here's the group shot from a little further away. You can really see the detail and how it kind of works out still. Again, especially given the speed, I really like these paints. They've been doing pretty good. Now I do notice I missed a few spots here and there. That's part of the learning and could be the cheaper spray on white primer that I was using. So when you consider about 53 minutes just over and eight figures done, that's just over six and a half minutes per model, which kind of makes these paints well worth their money as they are a little bit more expensive than your standard ones. But for what I want to use this army for, they look good, they'll work well for playing, and for the most part, they took just one coat to get the color and all the effects you're looking for. One bit of a hassle issue that I ran into that you kind of saw in the video was if a paint was sitting for a day or more, I would say, or when it was brand new, you have to poke it and clear it out in order to get the paint out. This wasn't that bad as I just kind of kept a paper clip nearby, but it's something to be aware of. So overall, I do recommend these. Thank you for joining me on this video, checking out the Scale 75 Instacolor paints, and my scheme on the other sides, the King's Empire. If you're enjoying the content, please like and subscribe. Don't forget to check out the podcast and spellstormminiatures.com for links to everywhere you need to go, including our Discord, our Patreon, and other ways that you can help us out. Thank you.